Last quarter final of part one. In the quarter final stages, top half of the draw. There's in Hisham. Number seven seed taking on the unseeded baby faced assassin Kareem Abdul Gawad. It's a good start here, though. It's not generally renowned for his quick starts. Gawad can be a little bit slow out of the gate, but I think that's just an awareness of, of his opponent. As we saw at the top of the show, it's 2-2 uh, two -two in the head-to-heads. -head. Mazen Isham actually won the last two meetings, but the last time they played was actually in September 2021. Well, that's, that's exactly it. It was years. Went on for about three years with Gawad, with that heel issue. It was misdiagnosed so many times. And then as Mazen I mean, he's... Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh. I mean, listen to, the, listen to the auditorium in the Rep Theatre, PJ. Yeah, it's a lovely theatre. 7-3. Clever. Go well, down the middle ploy from Hisham. Six, eight. Not even the silky skills of Gawad quick enough. He's normally brilliant in those areas. Down. Well, the guess from Gawad, he was right over. Gavad leads one game to love. <laughs> and it's Mezen Hisham that pops the ball into the top of the tin. I'd actually like to hear the theory behind that. Do you think he's, he's just almost a bit of a magician uses it as, as a distraction? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, watch my racket, watch my racket, it's over here. <laughs> maybe. Maybe as a kid he watched a lot of magic shows. I don't, oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 this too. is scandalous stuff from the Fulkin. Seven, one. Oh my word. I mean that is feel and finesse. Well it's the lengthiest rally we've had for quite some time. It's just a variety. And the switching of play between these two just makes it, it makes it such a good watch. Oh my goodness gracious. Out. Absolutely brilliant. Superb. Well, he's licking his lips, that man. From the left. From the left. Left box, please. Oh, again, the... He's got it. He's got it. This is brutal. Down. Oh, what a rally. And there, the animation from Gawad. Yeah. Mesut Hisham bending over. He bounced up very quickly, though, Joey. Watch this. As soon as Gawad on the right. went to Quick turn around, just watch yeah. the reaction. He goes down, sees Gawad, and right then he's box. up. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, nothing gets past you, PJ. Absolutely not. This pace is an absolute joke. Oh my goodness. It's difficult to keep up with these two. See Mo Khalifa there, PJ. Yeah, she hasn't changed one bit, has he? Game ball for the Black Falcon.
Got the whip. Well, he needed that. Yeah. He'll apologise, but he'll take it all day long because he's managed to equalise. Contact there, he's gone straight down to help him. Yes, lad. That's great to see. Of course, it was when the yes, game was played in this kind of spirit, Joey. <laughs> it's wicked. I just love it so chill. You okay, like, Mr. Gallat? Straight away, and then he just gives it the old. Uh, he is really cool. I mean, he, he is Garfield all over for me. One or nine, old TJ. I mean, like, you haven't even said it. I'm just mesmerized by what I'm seeing here. How's he done that? How's he doing? Well, look at that one again. Oh, he's got that up as well. The crowd will go absolutely not housing. No luck. Yeah, always kind of slightly. I'm interested here just to see the movement of Kawad because that <laughs> that forces Hisham to take an awkward path. Watch this again. This is no, that's, that's that one, which is an outrageous bit of improvisation, Gimbal. yeah. Oh, still surviving. Absolutely oh. brilliant. He's got to credit his game as well, Joey, the way he plays through the ever so slight interference and still tries to play the ball to his advantage. Absolutely. Winning the rally in the back of the court Notes. with a straight drive. Now. Player must win by beautiful, points. beautiful from the Black Falcon. It's one all ten all PJ. He's done. Oh, he's got, oh, he's got it. it. That is ridiculous. Oh, what pick a up from Gawad. <laughs> Out. Clever. Out of court. Clever shot down the middle. Great goals. shot selection. Game to Hisham. For the man in red. Hisham known as the Black Falcon. Oh my goodness. Talk about a hold and flick. Last minute, luring Hisham into that front right hand corner before he just whips the wrist and fingers across the ball, thinking this into the open court. That is beautiful from Goad. Oh, no. absolutely outrageous. What a rally. Absolutely what brilliant. a rally. What a rally. Player review. Kawhi just questioning Gavard. the pickup from Hisham. A good decision. It looked good initially. It looked front. as though he's going to right. get there to start with. No. But then all of a sudden, it's got a huge quad come out of nowhere. <laughs> Actually, the more you watch it, it's, uh, no, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go inconclusive here. Good. That, oh, that's, that's not good. That's not good. Good oh dear. decision upheld. I don't know how they decided remaining. that was good. 7 3. Oh, 
sure you could be 100% convinced that that was up, to be honest. Can't believe this. He's got a four-point lead now in this fourth game. He's flying through. Clever. Oh, that is cheeky, cheeky. Oh, oh this is a short game. I mean, Mazen Hisham's moving better now than he did at the beginning of the match, PJ. Oh, yes! Sorry. It's an absolute Sorry, mate. shootout of Coco Corral. I love it, though. Corral. It's a Coco Corral. I think that's a better place than the OK Corral. I mean, he's moving he's better, though, isn't he? I mean, we must. We both need to go and see that physical therapist that does that amazing do. thing with his quads. But he cannot get this rally underway quick enough. Hisham... Flying around. Oh, he's done it! He's done it, Mezzan Hisham, he's done it! He's got... Look six. at that, what a way, it's brilliant. Fantastic. Hisham, the Black Falcon has put himself in his first ever semi-final of the British nine, Open. 14, 12, and now spread his wings. Absolutely brilliant. We were writing him off, we thought he was down and out physically, he looks so dejected. Just tell us a little bit about your physical therapist, because he was there working on your legs. I know I met him in the Octasia, but you're the only player that doesn't have a coach in your corner, but you've got your physical therapist in your corner. I don't want to say I don't care about coaches, of course, squash is the, the main part and the, the boost, like, um, like, you know, like the biggest part of the sport. But for me as well, like, to be mentally ready and be, like, physically ready, I need somebody. I feel like, uh, like, if you've seen my match with Baptiste, I've seen you guys, like, you know, commentating about my match. The second game, my shins was gone. Nobody knew. I think seven tins, because I cannot move. But the guy came in the rescue. Without him, I wouldn't make it that match. I felt even better today. So I think, uh, I think, uh, I hope, I hope, like, finger crossed, like, you know, these guys keep, in, keep doing his job and I uh, keep, uh, like, you know, being fit for the matches. Win or lose is not my point here. Can you tell us his name? Uh, his name is Franco. He's a guy from Argentina. Such a nice guy.